from long lasting soap bubbles to an artificial moon on earth these are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of scientifics i am mohana basu and every week on the prince scientifics i talk about some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe for every child soap bubbles are a source of immense joy as the iridescent objects float through the air only to pop within a minute now a team from university of lille in france have created bubbles that maintain their structures for more than 200000 times as long in fact one of the bubbles they created lasted for 465 days the long lived bubbles which have a layered shell structure made from plastic particles glycerol and water could be used to create stable foams The team studied a type of bubble known as a gas marble. Such bubbles are typically made from a liquid solution that contains plastic beads. The beads pack together on the bubble shell making the bubble strong enough so that it can be held in a hand or rolled along a surface. Researchers have explored the mechanical properties of gas marbles but until now their lifetimes had not been studied. For their experiments the team studied three types of bubbles traditional soap bubbles water based gas marbles and water glycerol based gas marbles They monitored the bubbles using a balance and a camera as expected the soap bubbles lived for around a minute before bursting while the water based gas marbles lasted a little longer collapsing at the 6 to 60 minute mark With a high enough glycerol concentration, water glycerol marbles remained intact for significantly longer, with the longest lasting one surviving 465 days after it was made. The increased longevity of water glycerol marbles came from the stabilizing effects of glycerol. Glycerol has a strong affinity with water and is known to absorb water from air. This compensates for evaporation which would otherwise dry out the soap bubble while the presence of the particles prevents drainage of water from the shell both of which are known to cause the bubble to rupture. Meanwhile scientists in China have discovered the world's oldest fossil record of flower buds dating back to over 164 million years. Usually flowers and their parts are too frail and do not get fossilized. As a result there are a very few fossil evidences of identified angiosperms or flowering plants. This makes the origin of angiosperms and their flowers the focus of intense scientific debate and controversy in botany. A team from Chinese Academy of Sciences in collaboration with scientists from South China Agricultural University have now documented a fossil flower bud Florigerminus jurassica from Inner Mongolia in China. This is the earliest fossil record of flower buds in the world so far. The fossil not only includes a leafy branch but also a physically connected fruit and flower bud. The findings show that angiosperms were present in the Jurassic period. Also this week NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has spotted a black hole at the heart of the dwarf galaxy 30 million light years away that is creating stars rather than destructing them. According to the researchers the black hole is contributing to the firestorm of a new star formation taking place in this galaxy. A decade ago this small galaxy called Henes 210 set off a debate among astronomers as to whether dwarf galaxies were home to black holes proportional to the supermassive ones found in the hearts of larger galaxies with this discovery henes 210 which contains only 1/10 of the number of stars found in milky way will play a big part in solving the mystery of where supermassive black holes came from in the first place An image of the central region of dwarf starburst galaxy Henes 210 shows an outflow or bridge of hot gas 230 light years long connecting the galaxy's massive black hole and a star forming region. This is the opposite effect of what is seen in larger galaxies where material falling toward the black hole is whisked away by surrounding magnetic fields forming blazing jets of plasma moving at close to the speed of light. Gas clouds caught in the jet's pathway would be heated far beyond their ability to cool back down and form stars. 
but with the less massive black hole in this galaxy, its gentler outflow gas compressed just enough to precipitate new star formation. Also this week, researchers suggest that a giant iceberg named A68 snapped off from Antarctica may have dumped 152 billion tons of fresh water into the sea. In July 2017, a giant iceberg named A68 snapped off Antarctica's ice shelf and began a journey around the Southern Ocean. Three and a half years later, the main part of the iceberg drifted worryingly close to South Georgia. Concerns were that the berg would run aground in shallow waters offshore. This would not only cause damage to the seafloor ecosystem, but also make it difficult for island wildlife such as penguins to make their way to the sea to feed. Using measurements from satellites, scientists have charted how A68A shrunk towards the end of its journey, which fortunately prevented it from getting stuck. However, the downside is that it released a colossal 152 billion tons of fresh water close to the island, potentially having a profound effect on the island's marine life. When A68 was spawned, it had a surface area of more than twice the size of Luxembourg, one of the largest icebergs on record. When icebergs detach from ice shells, they drift with the ocean currents and wind, releasing cold, fresh melt water and nutrients as they melt. This process influences the local ocean circulation and fosters biological production around the iceberg. The research team will now study what impact this huge amount of melt water had on the ecosystem around South Georgia. Also this week, researchers from the China University of Mining and Technology have built a research facility that mimics the low gravity environments of the moon using magnetism. The Chinese are calling this an artificial moon. The facility will use powerful magnetic fields inside a two-foot diameter vacuum chamber to counteract the Earth's gravitational pull. According to the researchers, the inspiration for the chamber came from Andre Geim, a physicist at the University of Manchester in the UK who won the satirical Ig Nobel Prize in 2000 for devising an experiment that made a frog float with a magnet. Researchers told the Chinese media that this chamber will be filled with rocks and dust to imitate the lunar surface. Scientists plan to use the facility to test the technology in prolonged low-gravity environments before it is sent to the moon, where gravity is just one-sixth of its strength on Earth. The tests completed in the chamber will be used to inform China's lunar exploration program, Chang'e. China has also declared that it will establish a lunar research station on the moon's south pole by 2029. This is Mohan Abbasu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box.